Hi guys, this is Jolt from Jolt's Tech and Detail World. In this video, I'm going to show you what um, you need to do in case you've got a Windows 7 installed on your Lenovo G50 laptop and you want to install a Windows 10 on it uh, because of course it's not that simple as you might imagine. Um, in particular, when you want to upgrade from 7 to Windows 10, so not when you are doing a clean installation. Right, so first of all, we assume that you've got a running Windows 7, you managed to install it on your laptop on the Lenovo G50 and you decide to upgrade to Windows 10. So you download the media creation tool from Microsoft, you start the update process and at some point the computer wants to restart at the very first time. This is crucial. If you don't follow the instruction, what is coming right now, then the installation will be, um, well, cancelled or discontinued and um, it's going to revert back to Windows 7 and you are ending up in a vicious circle. At this point, because the computer is off, I've got the Windows 10 on it already, uh, so I'm just going to switch it on, but in your case, when you do the first uh, restart or when you attempt the upgrade, you need to be super vigilant Keep an eye on because it will automatically restart. So um, when it is restarting, I just imitate that it's restarting now with the on button, but for you it will be automatic. So you need to be super fast. So when it's restarting, you are keep pressing Fn and F2 at the same time. When the BIOS loaded, you go to the exit, then you scroll down. OS optimized defaults, you change from Windows 7 to Windows 8, 64 bit. Then you click on load default settings. Then as a next step, you change the boot mode back to legacy support. You can go with UEFI first for boot priority. You can leave the USB boot enabled, uh, disable the um, LAN uh, boot and all the other settings supposed to stay on default. So then you just go and exit again, exit, save uh, changes. And then the Windows 10 installation will carry on um, without any issues or supposedly without any issues. On this one, um, it's done already. So that's why I can't show you how it looked like during the installation because it wasn't uh, an easy situation. Anyhow, that was it for this video. Again, it was a short one. Hope it helped. If you liked it, press the like button, subscribe to my channel if you feel like. And in case you did, don't forget to press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you for your time and catch you later in a new video. Bye bye.